I know. I moved down the street to the other entrepreneurial center. So, my name's Robbie Hillis. I was born and raised in Florence a long, long time ago. Grew up here. Was hanging out when Florence was cool, even though everybody thinks it just turned cool. Um, and moved to Birmingham about 2002 because there was nothing to do here, right? And that's the cool thing to do, is move away, find a cool software job. I was in the K-12 software industry for about 10 years, selling software in about 20 states and 15 different countries in the Caribbean. So I had a cool gig and then thought, why don't we move back to Florence? Let's see what's happening there. So um, we moved back three and a half years ago, and it's been an interesting process, as you guys know just as well as I do. When I first moved back, I started a digital marketing company called Inbound Marketing Specialist. So this is my second startup that Mary, Mar Mary Marshall, Mary Margaret works for me, so I always get that confused when I'm typing emails to you respect respectfully. And so we started the digital marketing company because nobody was really doing digital marketing in this area, focusing on content, focusing on social media. So just today, we're probably posting to you know, 20 or 30 different social media accounts across the Shoals area at one time. And so we, you know, we're posting tidbits out there. And then September of 14, my two-year-old daughter left a faucet running overnight. It may have been for two days. I'm not really sure. But I only noticed it the next day because the water pressure in the shower was really low. And I thought, something's going on here. Well, I started searching the internet, right, trying to find an ish, uh, a solution for this. I never really could find something. So I thought, hmm, okay, maybe we need to look into creating something. So fast forward to today, what have we done in between? Well, I've gone out and found some really cool people that can help us take this to market because I have no clue, quite frankly, what mechanical engineering is about. But I've found some cool people that can help us. So that's my first bit of advice today is, you don't have to know all how to do it on day one. Go find somebody. You know, people like Howard are here in the community. It, he worked with Werner von Braun, for goodness sake. He can build a rocket. Yeah, he doesn't think that's cool, but I do. He can help build a rocket ship if you want to. You know, I'm thinking this rocket team at Russell needs to get Howard down there. But, oh, yeah, by the way, they already won the international competition. So they might could teach Howard a few things. But... We incorporated in March of this last year, so we're really only nine months old as a company. But in that nine months, um, we've got accepted into an accelerator. And what's an accelerator? Well, that's where you take your business and accelerate the first two years down to about eight weeks. You go through marketing one whole week and you get it all over with and you think about all your branding and all your strategy. You go through the financials. We literally had our three-year financial projections done in about four days based on what we thought the market would look like and where we were headed and how many we could sell. And within that four days, I learned how many home builders there were across the country and so forth. So um, then we presented, and we presented to about 700 people at a presentation at the end of July and have since then received some angel funding um, and have started building our beta test. We have a hotel group with 30 hotels that are going to allow us to beta test this and Chattanooga, North Georgia, and Nashville. So that's pretty cool. And we also are talking with the Florence Public Housing Authority about beta testing it there as well. So my goal is, is to have the beta test done before we're officially one year old. So why is that a goal? Well, because part of that innovation engineering that you guys have probably heard about over and over and over, no one's here from UNA, so I can say and over and over and over, is <laughs> fail fast, fail cheap. Right? So if you're going to do a startup, get it over with. Quit dragging it out. Quit thinking, oh, well, what if we did this and what if we did that? Just do it. Do it and get it over with. It takes $150 to go incorporate at the courthouse, and you could go do it right now. It takes you about 20 minutes, as long as nobody's in line down there. Incorporate. Go. Fail fast, fail cheap. Try it. Build something. Find something on the Internet. Put it together. Make a part. Make a piece. And if it doesn't work, try again. So that's what our goal is, is to hopefully not fail, fail, but to do this fast and do it cheaply. And so what are we talking about doing? Let me back up and cover what, what we did. As, as I looked for that device to help address this issue of leaving a faucet on, we understood that there were two real problems. One is, is that your house could flood while you're not there, right? A ice maker line breaks or 
whatever. And if I had a dime for every story I've heard, I wouldn't have to build this device. I'd be rich already because everybody has come up to me. Oh, that happened to my cousin. It happened to my grandmother. And my parents' refrigerator fell through the floor. I mean, I've heard everything. But then the other side of it is, away from the southeast where we have plenty of water, in California, they're being required to reduce their usage. So we talk about an efficiency side of things. And the toilet might be running, but you're not there to hear it. So we have come up with the idea of helping eliminate both of those problems. So we're going to monitor the flow of water and understand your usage patterns. We'll know how many times you ran your dishwasher. And we can tell you that each month. You ran it 27 times and it cost you X to run that dishwasher or Y to run it. And we can gamify it as well, but that's sort of going to be fun for the folks on the West Coast because we don't care what water cost here in Alabama. It's cheap. We do care, I should say, but it's just not something we focus on. So then, as we understand what your usage patterns are, we can say, wait a minute. Tim has never had water running at 3 p.m. in the afternoon because he works 15 hours a day, and he's always at work and doing cool things at Birthdays Direct. Why is there 10 gallons a minute running right now at 3 p.m. in the afternoon? So we'll send him an alert through, his, through the app and say, hey, you got something going on here. And he could say, oh, never mind. My mother-in-law's there this week. Ignore, she's probably taking a shower, washing clothes for us, whatever. Or, oh, you know what? That's not right. Let me go ahead and shut the water off remotely. So we think we can eliminate both of those issues. So what have we learned along the way? Um, it's tough, right? What does the lean startup say over and over? You're doing something that has a high degree of uncertainty, right? You have no clue what you're going to do tomorrow. They use the word pivot over and over and over. Pivot just means you ran into a brick wall and you had to go the other way to get around it. But there's always a way around it, in my opinion. So just today, for example, I got up at 345, started reading ideas about crowdfunding and Kickstarter because we're going to launch a Kickstarter campaign on January 28th. Everyone's invited to the newly named Innovation Center, as I'm calling it, instead of the Entrepreneurial Center. We're going to have a big party that night and launch our campaign worldwide. We're sending out a press kit to over 1,200 reporters around the world that write on water technology, posting to networks that would reach over a million people through Twitter and Facebook. So we're, we're going to make everyone well aware of this campaign that night, and we're going to have a lot of cool food and hopefully some Singing River beer and things like that too. So. But I read 17 more articles on crowdfunding this morning. Wired $10,000 to China to start building some tools. Re-engineered part of our process, and that's why I was almost late getting down here with our design engineer. And then had a conversation with a guy in South Florida. So who knows what the day is going to look like, right? Even when you have an experienced business or an, a mature business, there's still a lot of uncertainty. But with a startup, there's a tremendous amount of uncertainty. So that's the first thing you have to be aware of. If you don't like not having a scripted day, this may not be for you, right? I mean, it, but I don't fit in very well to existing companies and what you're supposed to do eight to five every day, the same day for the rest of your life. That's not me. So that's why this startup world has is, is become so attractive. The other thing that we've learned as well is, like I've said, there's a lot of help out there. You may not know it, and they may not be readily making themselves available, but I'm the person that will just go bug Howard. How many emails did I send you yesterday? Four? Okay. I thought it was just four. He says 15. But I'm okay with that. Howard will get mad at me and tell me to go away eventually, and I'll go find someone else that can help me answer those questions. But, you know, there are people in this area that can help you. Sherry is a great example. You know, people who have those businesses, they don't have to be startups they can be existing folks so go find that help don't just try to do it on your own and fail you know the example that the Shoals community has used for years is there was a bakery on Florence Boulevard and all of a sudden Krispy Kreme was opening and they're like oh well, we're just gonna have, we'll probably go out of business because Krispy Kreme's opening well you don't know that go find help let's look at how you do your you know let's talk through this you may could beat Krispy Kreme because you still haven't superior product but they were dead set on thinking that they were going to close because Krispy Kreme was opening so 
go find the help. Don't, don't hesitate to ask, right? There's lots of people. Giles at the Entrepreneurial Center is a great example. Greg, the Dean of the College of Business, and Janice have tons of resources there that this community has never, ever utilized. So that's another great example that we have as well, is this region coming together and helping each other nurture mature businesses, young businesses, or brand new ideas. So um, the other thing is, is even look outside this region. The accelerator in Chattanooga, I literally spent about 30 minutes applying. I don't tell them that very often, but I submitted the application. Quite frankly, did not look at my grammar or spelling before I hit submit on it. Just said, oh, you know what, if they think we're cool, they'll call us and talk to us. About a week later, they called us and said, would you guys be interested in participating? So there's all of these processes around the country. We are now potentially entering another accelerator in San Francisco, and we find out next week or, well, the week after. That's going to be a pretty cool process. A gigantic bank with the third week of March in San Francisco would be pretty cool for a water technology company. It's a pretty cool place to go into an accelerator. There's other competitions and other processes that you can go through that will help you accelerate your business and go quicker. So what else have we learned? I don't know. You know, there's, the Internet is a powerful tool. Just this morning I read another article, seven tools to take your potential customer all the way through an evangelist or somebody who sings your praises. And these six of the seven tools were free. So those tools exist. Shopify was the only one that cost $9 a month, and it's a pretty powerful e-commerce platform. But it's one of the best out there now. So do your research. Keep finding things to help you do this and, and go as quickly as possible with a lot of extra help.